All right, how's it going, guys? Let's go ahead and look at our next activity that we're going to do. Remember last time we talked about the centers of new ideas because civilization started popping up after the agricultural revolution when not everyone, but large groups of people started becoming um, farmers and more specialized in other things. So we're going to be on pages 38 and 39 on your online textbook. We're going to talk about the village of Chatohoyuk, is how you say it. And Chatohoyuk is, the village is now located in the modern day country of Turkey. And if you look, Turkey is right in that red area right here. Now, some people consider it part of Europe, but most people it's Southwest Asia. This is Southwest Asia right here. And if we look, it connects into Syria, Iraq. So it's in that Iraq, Iran, Syria area of the world. So that's where Chatelhoyuk, the village of Chatelhoyuk was. So let's look at what we're going to find out more about the village of Chatelhoyuk. So it says, where did the village of Chatelhoyuk start and how many people live there? So where did it start and how many people live there? So this area right through here, you should be able to find it. Second question, what crops were grown and what animals were domesticated in this village? Remember, with the agricultural revolution now, people have domesticated plants and animals to benefit themselves. Because remember, groups, populations were growing at rapid rates. And so they needed a way to get more food for this growing population. So farming and domesticating and raising animals helped that. Now remember, not everyone was doing this, but a good chunk of people were. So what crops were grown and what animals were domesticated? Okay, what is surplus? If we look, surplus is one of our vocabulary words, okay? So now remember, people have a lot more of things than before. When you're a hunter and gatherer, you're just getting enough to get by. You're sustaining yourselves. You're, you're you know, eating just enough to, to survive. So we see a big change with the agricultural revolution. Why did the people of Chatohoyuk build their dwelling so close? And if you look on page 39 here, this is what archaeologists believed that the village looked like at one time. Okay. Pretty interesting if you look at it. Lots of ladders and stuff. So that tells you there's only one way in and one way out. Okay. And if you look, these little dwellings had holes on top. And at night, what they would do is they'd take the the ladder down or inside the, their dwelling and close it up. So there's an advantage to that. You're gonna have to find out what that advantage is. And then metallurgy, okay, metallurgy, one of our vocabulary words. The village of Chatelhoyuk was known for its metallurgy. So you're gonna have to figure out what metallurgy is and then put two and two together. Okay, so this is our first of our four villages, Chatelhoyuk in what is now is considered modern day Turkey. So as always, if you've got questions, you need help, please let me know. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.